The work of furniture and fashion designers is on us and all around us. Redefining these fields down to the finest detail are two trailblazers who got it in their heads that something extraordinary had to come from joining forces. Hi Inside ASA, my name is Abna Makamata and I'm here with my fellow collaborative artist. My name is Sipo Twala from Kovula Arts and we're here to show you our new furniture designer pieces for Jovic Design. We just met literally for the first time for this collaboration specifically. So me finding out that he has a background as a taxi driver was kind of like an immediate connection because I almost share the same trajectory to get to this point. Uh, formerly trained as a graphic designer, multimedia designer, but I decided to go into retail because I was trying to figure out how to get to this point. So same with him. Maybe he wasn't so sure that he would be here, but I feel like the journeys are so close to one another. Before I actually got into the furniture manufacturing industry, I was a taxi driver and I never really thought that I'd become a furniture maker. I got an opportunity from the Department of Economic Development to take part in a learnership program. So I took the course and then after three months, I started my own company, which actually failed within a year due to lack of experience. And I wasn't really good in terms of producing good quality furniture pieces. Not to be defeated, Sipo used YouTube videos to teach himself 3D design, then honed his skills with a master craftsman. After my company failed, I went on and worked for David Kano, who then introduced me to furniture design. After three years of working for David, I decided that I'm gonna go on my own. And me being a designer and being a manufacturer and combining my hustle mentality, which I actually got from being a taxi driver, I decided that I'm gonna give birth to Quibula Arts. What I enjoy most about Sipo's way is really his aesthetic, you know, in terms of how he approaches his furniture design, because he really wants to go the extra mile and be a manufacturer. So I like the Renaissance man, part of that, because I also view myself as a Renaissance man. Most of his chairs resemble something like Bauhaus movement, you know, which I quite enjoy, because it, yes, it's local, but it's very local in a sense that it's, it's very internationally stylized. Abner's print was inspired by a portrait of artist Dr. Esther Mahlangu, but interpreted in his own visual language. I have a background in multimedia and graphic design. Originally, I wanted to study textiles or something like fashion, because those are the only two spaces where you can mix these sort of ideas to kind of tell a different story of the same mindset but using a variety of like byproducts. Yeah, and that's what I like about fashion, you know, it allows you to combine both art and design to create your own design language. Me being a furniture designer who does a lot of customized stuff and unique stuff, I saw it as an opportunity to actually collaborate with the textile designer who's gonna be able to infuse my ideas and his ideas, we'll come up with the fabric, and we'll come up with the designer wooden frame, and we just create like a, a very unique furniture piece. This fabric, I like the fact that it complements the composition of the artwork itself, because it's inspired by a lot of Ndebele architectural style, really, of making houses, or like the walls outside the actual house. So a lot of those shapes come from there, you know. So I wanted to depict my own interpretation of that. So it's literally like a modern day Ndebele artwork, which just uses black and white. For me, it's a mind blowing experience, you know, cause I've never seen fabrics being made from scratch, you know, so just me being here, you understand, like it's, it's a very um, inspirational moment and I'm learning a lot of things about fabric design. And, you know, I didn't know that you can actually like design like a pattern from scratch and then you print it out on a fabric. I didn't know how the process actually works. So me being here, you know, it's sort of like it exposed me to another side of design, which is textile design. What I like about collaborating with another designer that doesn't do the same thing that I do is that my skill set then becomes horizontal in terms of the growth. So really it just allows me to be like a lifetime student, honestly, and just keep taking information where I can and then using it towards my own practice. 
When it debuted at Design Joburg, their collaborative bench based on a minibus seat was the talk of the town. People are just mind blown by our stand. It's really surprising. I wasn't expecting such a good response. They see the craftsmanship in our work and they see Sir Abner's textiles and the way he designed this whole space because he did the positioning of the furniture and the entire design of the space, basically. He came up with it, so he really did a good job and it's a really inspirational space. The design of this chair, it is partly inspired by a taxi seat and obviously I sent it to Sir Abner. He had his own input, so it was like, okay, cool. That's dope, that's dope. Let's change here, let's change here. Actually, we came up with two designs. And he was like, no, let's, let's go with this one, which was this one. If you look at the back seat of the bench, it actually has like a, a coded message in it that speaks to the inspiration of Sipo's background, trajectory, to how he got here, you know, to sort of uh, make the concept more tangible for you to actually see and, and own, you know? Me and Sir Abner, we're definitely still going to do a lot of work together. I have a lot of design ideas and me collaborating with him has actually sparked other ideas, you know, so I would really like to spend more time with him and sort of like work on more stuff, more projects and more interior design stuff. You know, we still want to produce some really cool stuff for South Africa, you know, so yeah. The day that the names Twala and Makamata came together may prove a landmark in South African design and you were there to see it. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.